and welcome back to my channel. I'm acrylic artist Joni Young and today I'm going to show you step by step how to paint a beautiful warm sunset. So recently I just got back from Oahu and uh, during the whole midst of the coronavirus at the time we flew out there was no real scare of traveling, there were no travel advisories, um, but things as you know escalated quite quickly um, and it was a little frightening while we were there. We weren't sure if we'd be able to even get back to Canada. Um, thankfully, we're back here safe and sound uh, in our own country and I am on 14 days of isolation, social distancing, and I am creating as many paintings and videos and uplifting content for you guys as I can. So this will be another um, calming and positive painting for you guys to learn how to do. Uh, so I'm so happy that you're joining me today. Um, I wanted to show you guys my palette. So I made a palette on an old canvas with resin and glitter and today we're going to be using uh, black, titanium white, I've got a few Arteza paints that I'm going to be incorporating. It's a really nice brand, uh, brand new. Thank you Arteza. They sent me a bunch of paints and canvases. Uh, wonderful products. I'll add a link below. I've got cadmium yellow, neon orange, and burnt sienna. Of course if you don't have these exact colors you can use any variation of orange you like or yellow um, and any brown. So you don't need titanium white either. You can use any white. It doesn't matter. Um, whatever you have on hand you can create this piece. You can do it in different colors if you like. You can do it even in just in black and white. Let's begin. I'm going to take a large blending brush. Just this one that I got from a hardware store. It's a cheap one. I recommend it. It's a great brush to use. I got it a little bit wet first and I'm going to take my yellow, quite a bit of yellow, and I'm gonna start pulling it back and forth with the brush. I'm gonna leave a little spot here where it's gonna be uh, the sun reflecting down on the water, which is gonna be bright white. So I'm just gonna actually create a little circle like this. Nothing fancy, just a little area. So I remind myself that's where it is and that I won't paint over it. And I'm going to go all around it with this yellow and then just leave a little area right there that's white, kind of line it up, eyeball it, where that will be in the water. Um, because I'm confined to my home right now for 14 days, I wasn't able to go and get any new canvas. Um, but I have a lot of old paintings that I can paint over, so that's what I've done here. I've got an older painting. However, my signature up here, um, I use like an, an artist pen, like a, a fine sharpie to, for a signature, and it keeps showing through, so <laughs> if you see that, that's what it is, guys. So I'm going to take some more, keep going. You want to push and pull nice, even strokes. If you, happen, if you happen to go over the sun, that's okay. You can kind of just wipe it off carefully or just paint over with white. add a little more. I really want to emphasize this beautiful warm yellow. So I want it to be really thick. Now I'm going to come around carefully right here guys for where the sun is. Go around with your brush using the corner twisting and pulling around. There we go. I'm going to set that brush down and take my filbert brush, any small brush that you have. You can scoop up a little bit of white, oops, just a little bit on the tip, and we'll go inside 
our sun, twist around, just like that. Okay, for our, our sun, and then I'm gonna push, push right into that paint. So I've got a nice ridge on the very end of my brush to work with. And I'm gonna start soft little lines back and forth. Notice how I'm leaving a few spaces with the, the yellow in between. This creates a soft ripple in the water that's very calming and a subtle reflection. And then we can blend a little bit of it into part of the yellow. So we've got another shade of yellow. We'll make that a little bit more of a buttery yellow. So you can take a little bit of each white and the yellow and just add the two together just like that. Mix them up and start doing little wiggles, leaving some spaces. For this to work, you really have to know how to load your brush, guys, and where to put the paint. So you want it on the very tip of your brush. That's the part of the brush that you're using. And if you don't push too hard, the paint right there will last a little bit longer. But if you push like this, you're just gonna make a mess. You're not gonna get those fine little lines and wiggles. Okay, so now it's time to go into our orange. And I'm gonna keep using this brush. I'm just gonna get it a little bit wet. So we'll get a little bit of water on there. Loosen up, if you have any paint at the bottom of your, your bristles right in there, you wanna loosen that up because it's gonna start drying and then it's gonna wreck your brush. We're gonna take a little bit of the orange, a little bit like that, mix it into the yellow. Ooh, whoops, I didn't even notice that happening. I have to do something about this black paint dripping. I'm gonna have to actually just... So this is why I'd rather use heavy bodied acrylic, especially for um, videos because I hold up my palette. And look how nicely this resin palette just cleans off. So easy. So yeah, I just made, um, and I used resin for this palette and in fact, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on that because I think it's a really fun way. It's just, you can make an artistic type of palette for your paint and it cleans off so nicely. You could, uh, do anything underneath and just pour resin on top or you can include um, some paints into your resin. But anyhow, back to this painting. Okay, so now I've wiped that off. I don't have to worry about that making a mess. Back to the orange. So I've got orange, yellow, white. And again, guys, you can use any orange or yellow that you have. You don't have to specifically use these colors that I'm using today. But I will be listing everything in the description below for you guys. Take my brush and start pulling right across the top, right on this edge here. And then I'm just gonna wiggle. This will work if your paint is wet underneath or if it's dry, so don't worry. It doesn't have to be wet on wet. Mine is a little bit wet still, um, but not quite enough to blend. So I'm just gonna take a bit of water Start to pull softly back and forth, get a little bit more up there. And then what I'm gonna do is take a little bit more orange this time and a little bit more yellow, no white. I'm gonna apply a little bit thicker right on the top and just leave it like that. Maybe add, actually just add a little bit more right here want this to come down a little bit lower. So this painting I'm working on today for you guys is one that I did many years ago. Uh, it was from an older style of painting that I used to do and I kind of was just wanting to do something different lately. So sometimes I go back full circle to where I first began painting and I look through older pieces and this one kind of really spoke to me. It's in creating a, a warm mood uh, that I think we could all use right now in this uh, stressful time we're all going through, of course, with the coronavirus. 
So that's what all of my videos and paintings are going to be about lately for you guys. Just trying to calm and keep you positive and uplifted so that we can all get through this together. So I'm going to keep adding a little bit of this orange and yellow and white. Okay, let's pull a little line right about here on the left side. We're going to go almost halfway to the center like that. Start scumbling with the brush. And if you guys notice me glancing down quite a bit, it's because I've got a little picture of my painting on my phone that I'm I'm using for a reference photo right now. So I'll take just a little bit more orange now and we'll come in right here, pick up a little bit of water, loosen that paint out of my brush, right in there, and then a line, a little line right here. Now this one is going to come from here all the way over to the end. So I'm going to take water on my brush. Again, loosen that paint out that's kind of getting stuck inside your brush. Take some yellow along with that orange. Push. And very softly. like that. Now these two are almost blending in together. And we'll come in with, we're just going to go light to dark right now. So we're working the white to the yellow to the orange. And then we're going to come in with our burnt sienna and black and add our shadows in and our contrast very subtly. Getting this color in the water, little wiggles. Kind of sliding and curving the brush to create little ripples. Now I'm going to take a bit more of the orange, just orange only, and I'm going to intensify the color right here. Saturate this orange in this area. And then I'm going to do the same thing right over here. Smooth that out. And we can add a little bit of white into our orange and our yellow. Make this soft color again. And we'll add a few little, a few little clouds back here, pushing and scumbling. So not a lot. So a little bit like this. So you don't need to do very much. I'm gonna get some water on my brush, pick up this color again, a little bit of yellow in it. See how loose it is? Makes it easy to do a bit of a filter over this. Some wiggles. Start creating all these reflections and light and shadow in the water. Let's come over to this side and do some little wiggles. Okay, so I think that we're ready to start coming in with our burnt sienna. Make sure you wash out your brush really well. So we'll switch over. Clean brush, still using my filbert brush. And I'm gonna take a little bit of my burnt sienna here. So it's a really reddish warm brown. 
I'm going to add a bit of water to it actually just to loosen it up, make it a little bit more fluid like and easy to blend with. So I'm going to pull right in here. Can just come all the way over all the way just like that it's going to be thinner right in here and then we're going to go up slope it up like that And just fill it in. Pick up some more. Go slightly round right in this area. We're going to have some palm trees here island and then it sweeps down, goes across and then up. And then there's going to be a reflection in the water. So we're going to go down like that just a little bit, very subtle. So we can actually just blend the two together. So this is all going to be done in the burnt sienna first and then we're going to come in with black after and really bring up the contrast. Add just a little bit here on the top guys. And what I want to do is Softly blend that out. We just want like a little indication, a bit more shadow up top. It's very subtle, so just a little bit of that brown. Okay, now I'm going to pull a little line right there. We're going to have a little boat right about there. some orange. Bring a little bit more of that orange in here. A little bit more. take a bit of orange along with the burnt sienna, mix the two, push it on the tip of my brush, and start adding lip wiggles, just like that. Some of them are going to be a little bit thicker down here at the bottom, closest to us in the foreground. I'm going to take more of my burnt sienna on the very tip of my brush. And add a thicker amount like that.
and just keep wiggling. You want long skinny lines like this that are kind of wiggly at the same time, kind of round, so long stretched out, almost like S shapes. And then we'll come in from the other side, guys, and start doing the same thing. Now right down here, we're gonna have a palm tree. Just, let's just go ahead and add it in. A little line like that. And then we're gonna have one right here as well. So where this palm tree is, I'm gonna have a reflection down below. Take a little bit more of my brown. And again, we're just doing this in brown first. And then we'll come in with a black. So I'm just gonna pull side to side and then start doing these little wiggles. going to start to pull off to the left just a little bit here gradually. Now if you wanted to use a liner brush for this you could. I think it's easier though using uh, one like the Filbert or even um, like if you have a flat brush it's easier to get those little lines. Liner brushes can be um, a little bit more difficult so I, you can do what you want, but this is just my recommendation and what I find works best for me. Okay, so we've got some little ones in here. Now I'm gonna come in with a thicker amount of paint, no water. I want this to be darker now. I've got the shape that I want, the placement right. So I can start making this darker now and stand out more. And remember, I'm just using the very tip of my brush. It's key to know what part of the brush to use to apply your brush strokes correctly. Otherwise, you're gonna be really frustrated and wonder why you can't achieve the lines and the brush strokes that you want. Okay, so I'm gonna come in right down here now and make a thicker, some thicker lines like we did down here. You can push that paint on the tip of your brush, round, and then pull and flick. right over here and then I'm going to take a little bit of my orange because there's a bit of shadow and reflection in the water that's not quite uh, brown it's just going to be a little bit lighter in color right in here and add a little bit of orange either side of that. Some more orange right in here. Right next to that brown. Okay. Okay, I'm really liking how this is looking. I'm going to wash all that excess paint out of my brush and start fresh just to make sure it's not sitting in my brush at the top and ruining it. Now I'm going to take some more yellow and I'm going to start coming right in here. Some in there. Balance this out a little bit. I'm going to take a bit of white with my yellow just because I need to go over a darker area and I can't with just the yellow. I need some white in there to make sure that it stays right through there. Right here. Go over 
just a little edge of that brown. And a little bit right here along the side. Okay, let's add a little bit more yellow in here. And now let's pick up some orange. A few little flicks of orange in here, right in along with that brown. And I'm going to go ahead and add some more orange and just layering over right in this brown area here where we're going to build up our palm tree. So I'm going to have a nice uh, glow of orange back here. Where else can we add some orange? This is a, such a nice, happy, happy color for painting. All these warm colors together have an effect on our minds and our mood. So I believe that colors are healing. Anything, any color that you like any color that's your favorite whenever you look at it it makes you feel good right and when you feel good you can heal feeling good is is what creates all that serotonin that you need to keep your mind healthy so i'm going to pick up a little bit more of my brown and my orange i'm just going to add a little bit of a a little bit of shadows right in here. Start coming in with more of these ripples. Gonna take some yellow. Let's go over part of this brown. a little bit. Take a foot in our yellow now. Add it right in here. Right over top of part of that brown. Barely touching the canvas. I just want to have a little bit of weight on that side too. I'm just going to soften this sun up right here adding a little bit more white and creating kind of a hazy glow around it. Just like that. Okay, I think we're ready for our palm trees now. So I'm gonna take a clean filbert brush, a little bit of water and burnt sienna. I'm going to go over this again. I'm going to start coming up, flip over, 
pull and click for these palm leaves. And then one just goes straight up like that. So again, we're gonna do this in brown first and then we're gonna come in with the black. So I'm gonna add a link below for you guys uh, for all my seascapes and tropical paintings because I paint a lot of palm trees and if you want to learn more on how to paint these, you can have a look there. Okay, then there's going to be one that comes right here and it's going to go partially over the sun, just like that. So pull and flick. And then lots of little lines. The filter brush is so awesome to use for palm trees. Cuts your time in half so quick. And then maybe there's a little beach hut or a beach house right in here. So we'll just do a little line, diagonal line like that, and then across. Kind of in silhouette, you know, so there's not too much detail on it an idea that there's a little house there. Okay. And then we've got this big guy right here. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of water on my brush and loosen this paint up. And I'm going to do just a few in brown and then I'm going to come in actually with some orange. This one will be a little bit lighter. So I'm going to take some orange on my brush now, a little bit of orange like that, and I cleaned the brown off. So I'll just pull, little pulls and flicks. I'm taking a little bit of yellow with my orange. this leaf here. And some to this palm over here. It gives it such a nice soft glow, doesn't it? And let's add some here. Go ahead and finish this palm tree. So I'm using my orange and my yellow first and then I'm going to bring in a little bit more of that brown. Okay, I'm going to pick up some brown now and go right up to the top. There's some little coconuts there, so it's going to be a bit darker, so just do some little dabs like that. And a little scoop underneath. And then some little lines. Skinny little lines. For all those palm leaves. And 
is going to be a few lines here. So you'll do laundry there. One, two, three four lines in a row like that, and then one right there for another palm tree. A line, diagonal line, another little diagonal line, and a line across, and then one right underneath for a little building there where they, a little dock I think, where they put their, bring the boats in. I think that's what it is. And then there's a reflection in the water, so I'm just kind of going past lightly. And then a little, little shadow like that. I'm going to get a bit of water on my brush, loosen up that paint, get it all out of there, push and wiggle, loosen that up, pick up a little bit of my orange, a little bit of white. And I'm going to go ahead and do another palm tree here. And just layer over, layer over, doesn't matter. Let me just, this to show up just a little bit better. Do a little, little indication of a little boat right here. My paint's pretty wet under there, so I'm going to take quite a bit of brown on the end of my brush and lightly pull and scoop. And do a little line down, a little line right there, just to make it look like there's some things going on in the water. Little boats. Loosening the paint on my brush, and I'm going to pick up some more brown. And we're just going to have some little palm trees. A few little palm trees in here. They're far away, so we don't need to do a whole lot. And we'll get a little bit lower down here and just little, little taps. We'll come in to find this a little bit more with our black pretty soon. Okay, so I'm going to begin working on the boat now. It's going to come up and then lower. With a line like that. And higher up right here. And then curve down. So it goes kind of pointy right there and then scoops down to the bottom and flattens out. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. And by all means, guys, use whatever brush you feel comfortable with. I'm going to take a little bit of brown on the tip of my brush. And I'm going to add little dabs for the people in the boat. And that's all there is to it. It's far away, so and it's in silhouette, so we don't know all those little details. We don't have to worry about them. Do a little line, 
underneath for a shadow. Okay, I'm going to wash my brush off. And we're going to come in with black now. I'm just using a, a fluid, loose black like that. I've got a number three round brush. This is brand new. I'm just going to give this one a try. I've had it for a while and along with a um, whole new set of brushes that I got and haven't tried this one yet so I'm kind of excited to try it. I'm going to take some black on the tip of my brush and I'm just going to start to go over areas in black. Along with a little bit of water. Want a little bit of that brown peeking through. Just a little bit here on some of these palm leaves. And then a little down here. So the pointy end on this brush is really, really nice. I'm enjoying using this. This brush is working quite nicely. I can add some here. black wherever I want to intensify all of these shadows and these little ripples in the water a little bit of brown sometimes too just to soften the edge of the black maybe a little bit go back to black black right now. Go over these larger ones down here at the bottom.
little bit of brown right here. Soften my black. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over this little belt right here. dabs I come across that island just like that and flat on the bottom a little bit around and bumpy tapping over the top and then back down again sneak back behind that boat and we can add some little more detailed palm leaves back here. Yeah, that looks pretty. And another one right here. Bring up the height just a little bit more right here. Then we'll add some black carefully inside the boat. I'm going to wash my brush out and I'm going to take some orange now along with some yellow, get a little bit of water on there, blend it together, twist my brush, get it on the very tip and add lower this brown some shadow. So wherever I feel like I've got maybe a little bit too much white and black going on right here, I want to add some, some more of that yellow. Now what happens is you have to be a little bit careful if you pick up black with the yellow because you're going to make green. And I don't know if that would really be a big deal, but I want to kind of just warn you guys about that. That could happen. I'm going to pick up some more yellow and just put it right down here. So I'm going to add a little bit more of a glow right here. This is scary because my black paint is wet, so be careful if you do this. And then I'm just going to take my little mop brush here. Get a bit wet. Just soften. Make it look like there's puffy clouds. A little bit more color in here. Almost finished this painting, guys. I'm just going to take a little bit of 
background. Add a few little ripples in the water right here. Just taking more brown, my little brown brush and some water. Maybe a little bit of orange to mix with that brown. I'm actually just going to go right in here. With a bit of white, yellow, and orange. white, yellow, and orange right down here just because I made it a little bit too dark and I've lost that light and shadow. See, I'm twisting and rolling my brush to get it loaded on the very tip. painting is all done. I hope that you really enjoyed watching this and that you learned a lot. Uh, this was something fun and different to do and it took me back to my old days when I first started painting. So I wish you guys happiness. Have a wonderful day. Uh, keep staying positive and tune in for my next video. Thanks for watching everybody. Hit that subscribe and give this video a like. Bye!